Creating local cloud shouldn't be so hard. And at II, one of the things we've had a passion for is helping get all the beautiful things we create in our community and source code into someone's hands in a meaningful way that they'll actually pick up open source. Am I doing something funny? <laughs> open source. Um, so we, back in the day, bef early on, before we started working with the CNCF, there was a piece of hardware called a pocket chip, or a Git, a Git chip, uh, and you could actually flash it from the web. So we will take an entire OS and install it from a web browser. And what we did with the OS is we put up a provisioner where we booted some local hardware, and it, using Pixie and some other things, installed a Kubernetes cluster from the web, right? And on that cluster, we installed GitLab and uh, the ability to, to edit stuff. Um, what we're hoping we can do is this, if you look at what this project did, they had a piece of hardware where you could put a paper clip over a couple of connections and have it flash from the web. Now, I spent some time in um, Cambodia working with some local kids, and one of the things that they had access to was the cafes, but it was French versions of, of uh, Windows, and their language wasn't native to that. So we worked and put some Ubuntu sticks together, and they were so excited to be able to read and write in their own language, they had this little uh, a button they could hit to make more sticks. And they said, well, how do we do this, hippie? I said, well, let's go to the local store, let's get one of those universe-changing sticks, and let's put it in there, and put down where they could read and write, and they could contribute just by using their desktop, and when they made more sticks, it was a copy of that. We worked early on uh, before uh, with uh, Dell. They had a project called Sputnik, which was supposed to be the restore firmware for the XPS 13s, where you could put in a URL, and it would deploy that particular laptop with Linux or with Windows and use Chef recipes to bring all this um, together. And I just went doing all these things to talk about, this is how we get hardware customized for someone and deliver this open source solution. Just recently, in the last bit, I found a, a project called Graphene OS, and Graphene OS allows you to go to a website and take your pixel and flash it. And that OS is built from open source. It's, it's, it's an ASOP image. But uh, what I love about something we could do here with that i-style I phone is that universe connector on the bottom, having a business in a box that somebody could create from any web page with that hardware. And when they go up to help someone, let's say their grandmother, they've got some computing, they don't know how to do tech stuff yet, but they turn on the phone and they say, is there anyone who could help me learn to do this? And on the phone, it boots up and connects them to someone that can help them. They said, that's the right device, let me help you. And it, you could connect the US universal connector and remotely have a keyboard, have a mouse, have the things to even connect it to a phone and help them have, create this tech support. That's the initial point to get someone into open source is to help them make a living at that point when they don't have any skills yet to deliver. But that phone itself, because it can do those network bidding things, could actually deploy a local cloud in an isolated environment like on an island. So some of my target environments is working with, sorry, <laughs> uh, some of the indigenous people in New Zealand where there's a desire to be a part of the tech uh, world with some sovereignty to be able to do it on their own. So, I'm looking forward to taking the ideas of II, which is, II is uh, two people standing next to each other. And if we could make getting into open source viral and easy and able to bring meaningful expressions of care to your neighborhood, we'll have a much more like Mr. Rogers, uh, his neighborhood TV station was so, that program was so valuable that he helped to create the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and local stations all over the United States. What if we had local stations giving this, uh, the programs that we have in open source as a meaningful expression of those neighborhoods run by the people in those neighborhoods? And so that's where you have an II service provider instead of an ISP that just connects us to Silicon Valley. Let's connect to everybody local and get into open source together in a meaningful way. <laughs>